Welcome, mortals. I'm Dark Lord Kaiser, and I am back after about two months of, of not doing stuff. I apologise for that. Um, early November-ish, I actually came down with a bit of an illness. Uh, nothing major. You don't need to worry. Your least favourite YouTuber is... Go away, thing. Oh, I hope that's not plugging the record up. <laughs> it sometimes does, thing, man. Anyway. Uh, yes, your least favourite YouTuber was not a death store, unfortunately. I simply had a particularly bad cough, which sounds pathetic, um, but uh, as a child I was asthmatic, and it's left me quite susceptible to uh, getting particularly bad coughs. And as I said, this one lasted a month and a half, maybe two months, um, which made recording a bit difficult, because it meant whenever I would go to say anything, I would have to stop every 30 seconds to cough up a lung. And it was quite unpleasant, both to hear and to feel. I actually still have the cough medicine on my desk. Now I look at it, I should probably get rid of that at some point. Um, but yes, as a result of that, I, I was unable to... Uh, well, I sort of dropped out of the habit of recording frequently. Um, in fact, the only reason I was able to get any video out at all was the... Um, what, what did I call it? Uh, reacting to Tory propaganda or... or Toy light, whatever I call it. The thing where I, I picked up the um, the leaflet from my local Tory MP uh, pointed out that it was literally full of lies. Um, and, yeah, she still got elected, which isn't a surprise at all. Um, not just because, you know, the Tories got elected all over the country, uh, but because this area just doesn't think and just elects the same person over and over again. It's, it's kind of sad, really. I think there's actually quite a lot of places in the country that probably have a similar situation. Um, but, yes. So, uh, as you probably could have guessed, but I'm also going to cover now. Actually, let's, let's get a game loaded. Looking at that screen, not particularly interesting. Uh, it's been a long time since I played this, so I'm just going to get this one. Yes, uh, I will admit as well that the, the results of the general election... Um, I were disappointing, to say the least, um, in as much as the Tories should not have control of the country. It's, um, I say, it's, it's just de dealing with the, uh, what's the chat? Let's go to the chapel. Yes, yeah, just dealing with that level of, of uh, injustice that, I don't want to get too much into it, but basically the Tories should have the largest number of MPs. That I do not dispute. Um, unfortunately, they should not, in any logical or just world, have the majority. The votes cast should reflect the uh, seats awarded. Our system doesn't do that. Which we all knew was going to be the case when Boris Johnson called the election. It's why he called the election. Because he knew he didn't need a majority of votes to get the majority of seats. And that's exactly what happened. Um, so yes, I, I don't want to get into complex thoughts here, just that, well, as, as we all know, Brexit now is happening. It shouldn't happen. By any logical or moral justification, Brexit should not happen. Unfortunately, we do not live in a moral country or a just world, so it is being forced upon a country that has literally voted against it now. The, uh, yeah, if you, if you look at the votes awarded, sorry, the votes cast rather than the seats awarded, the majority of the country voted specifically to have the, a final say referendum, and it's it's not happening uh, because that would mean Boris Johnson would admit that his Brexit is immoral and illogical, and he's just that's uh, the high level politicians who support Brexit just aren't moral or logical people. Uh, well, logic, perhaps no, they they work under a very specific logic, but the logic is what's best for them personally, which is the lack of morality aspect rather than. What's best for the country? It's uh, patriotism versus nationalism, basically, and they're working nationalistically, and the, the, we should work patriotically. Be proud of our country for what we've achieved, not be proud of our country despite what we do. And Brexit is a despite rather than a because. Anyway, long story short, bugger the Tories, bugger Brexit. Reketeer, we're in a chapel. I don't know why, it was flashing. Here we are again, in the, no, here we are in the chapel again. When I was little, I used to come here a lot, actually. Really, I must admit, you do not strike me as the pious type. When you came, when you came to chapel, you get a stamp on a little card. With enough stamps, you get a piece of candy. Fair enough. So your primary motivation was the candy, not the faith. 
Hey up! Hey up! It's uh. I thought we were supposed to be in like medieval France, fantasy medieval France, what with Tia repeatedly speaking French. But hey up, that's. Is Re is Receipt a Donny lass? Is she from up? No. I wish I was good at accents because I would just I I would be more than happy to continue speaking um, Receipt uh, voices in Northern accent. Merde, my previous... Maybe I could just put tear in a French accent. Merde, my previous judgment hit the sweet spot, it seems. I don't like that voice. I I'm afraid, I cannot do accents, not decent ones. I can rip the piss with them. I can't do them in a way that is, you know, enjoyable to hear for a while. I'm not going to Town Square. I want to go stab some stuff. I haven't gone on an actual quest for ages, so let's go. Nothing. I don't want none. Do I have... Oh, I, I guess I have nothing to work with. Whatever, let's, let's just do it. Let's... Where's the... Oh, god damn it, I see. Yeah, I've got to go up. That's the thing, it hides the depart button from you. Uh, that's what, that was what threw me last time. I went to put items in, and then couldn't find the... Uh, I assumed this was like you'd select the person, select party, and there'll be a go button somewhere else. It's not, it's on this screen... It just starts off, hidden, so you can't see the sodding thing. Right. Let's set off and go die, because I haven't got any items. Then again, previous times I've been here, I've got more items than I possibly... Excuse me, could possibly do anything with. Yeah. Right. Ow. I couldn't remember the buttons. There you go, Sudo Widow. Stabbed you to death. A thing! Angry thing! Ow! Uh, which of these is the kill everything button? <laughs> it's been too long, I can't remember the buttons. Oh, that's pretty cool. Come here, you slime bastard. There you go. You! Um... Bunny, where are you? Take that, you. Yeah. There we go. Right. I can't remember the buttons. This does not bode well for. Uh... I can't remember the guy's name. What? Jesus, Louis. That's it. Louis, Louis. Right. Well, I'm getting some gems. I can't remember what the gems do. I think the, the gems are the experience points, aren't they? Ah, B. Surprise B! Kill it! I got an insect trap! Yes! Plus four insect trap! It just came out of the bee. It seems a weird thing for a bee to be carrying. It's a tool to his own demise, but whatever. Stab! Take that, you red jelly bugger. More stuff! Ooh, a bow! Neat! Ow. Okay. Uh, where? Oh, but everyone. Right, let's try and remember which of these is the. Oh, there we go. That's the magical death stab. That one. Okay. Right, let's go to the next floor. Hang on, I'm pretty sure my magical death stab was a spinny attack last time. But, uh, not that. I'll take it. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I will take that. It's, it's a fun thing to be able to do. But, uh, ah. Ow. I was wondering why my attack wasn't working. I was getting my HP and my SP mixed up. I thought I had loads of health. Of, uh, I thought my health was low and my magic was high. It was exact opposite. Great. Okay, more stuff. I keep forgetting there's not a sprint button either. I've got to go at the speed of... Walking. Bad B. Be dead. Mystery ingredients, which I can't identify until I leave. But given that I can't leave until I've killed that uh, slime king that completely tore me apart last time. Uh, 
weights of the ass. Sold of eat biscuits. Ow. Let me out. Oh, now su oh, Jesus, they're everywhere. Okay, we're getting there. Ah, no, 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 bad. Be gone with these. I don't think I've got any means to replenish my SP without letting up. Uh... Oh! I didn't know I could switch between magical death stabs. That explains a bit, actually. Okay. So, if you look down at uh, Louis's face, if you hadn't already noticed, if I press the X button, I switch between magical swirly death and super sp spacey slashy death. So I must have pressed that at some button point and not realised. Where's the... Inventory. This one. Oh, is that one? Let's do this one. Items. So, I don't have anything I can eat at the moment. I've just got stuff to sell and ingredients I don't recognise. Okay. Right. Well, let's, uh, let's keep going. Try not to die. Nice. It's got good timing, I think, there. Don't expect me to be able to do that again, viewers. Right, moving on. Yeah, moving on. Yeah, there we go. News. SP consumption halved. Nice. I don't have the SP to don't use anything, but whatever. Maybe if I'm able to level up. Oh, I did have enough SP to use it. Just the once. That was probably a bad idea. Oh well, but at least I know how much SP I used. No. Bad. Ow. I wish there was a dodge button. You just have to... It's a matter of just getting used to the timing of when your attack will hit something. Let's say... This ain't no Dark Souls, there is no dodge rolling as far as I'm aware. Yeah. some slime fluid. Can I eat slime fluid? I don't think I can eat slime fluid. Let's try and eat slime fluid, see what happens. Slime fluid use? Okay, it's not a usable thing. I wonder if I could use a mystery ingredient. I mean, it's probably a bad idea, but just randomly eating a thing—you don't know what it is. But... Aha! Candy. That is what I want because, if my memory serves me well, candy recovers SP. Yeah, there we are. Go oh, God damn it! I didn't mean to use a magic stab already. But I guess I'll use it now. Yeah. That is the correct timing for the magic stab. Or spinny stab death, whatever I call it. I don't know. Ah! Go away, pseudo widow. Didn't see you there. Stop dodging, buddy. I don't want to attack this, the uh, chest because there's a good chance it may be a trap. God damn it, you're a irritating little bugger. You drop. Give me the thing. Furball, thanks. Okay, place your bets, viewers. Trap or fun thing? Fun thing, hooray! Uh, fun thing I probably already had, but whatever. Die, wait. Oh god. Bees. Not the bees! Oh, I thought I killed them both. I didn't. You look too much like a jewel, you stupid little yellow bugger. All right. Dead. Cease thy existence, red jelly. Where are you coming from? Is there a hive around here I'm not seeing? No, I think that bee was just sat there. Okay. Oh boy. That was. Uh, eventful. Right, moving on. So I'm on floor four, which means when I get to the end of this floor, that's where the Big Boss King Jelly goes. 
Now, it might be worth my time just grinding on this floor until I level up. Because when I level up, it restores my health and my energy. Reserves. I got some chocolate, so I want to save that for the uh, the next floor if I can. God oh, damn it. Bunnies! You have to get your timing just right with these little buggers. Stop trying to avoid me. Your death serve a greater hole. Oh. Yay, it's snowing! Whee! This is surprisingly entertaining. Pseudo Widow. Die. Pseudo Widow's a Pokemon reference if you didn't get that. Here's a rock, but it looks like a tree. Ah! What? What? What in the name of buggery was that? It was a fish. But why though? This guy. <laughs> Dead goat man. Ah, buddy. I don't know why, but I want to call it a mo uh, mochi bunny. Which uh, bone mochis are sort of um, a Japanese sweet. It's like um, mash, uh, sort of a, a rice paste kind of thing. Very nice. If you haven't had some, you go and find some. It's lovely. Not exactly easy to acquire in this country, but you know. Is good. Go to Japan and get some. Japan is an awesome place. I am legitimately considering moving there when Brexit inevitably goes to shit. But I said I wasn't going to talk about Brexit. Die! Die! Stop dodging me, the deadness. Look, it's just rude now, Mochi Bunny. Okay. The last two of the places have had traps, so this should be a nice thing. Yeah. Ooh. Iron armor. Nice. Die, goat man. Die. There you go. Ooh, and I got a little sword. A crafter's knife. And this is... Get Water shroom. When you want to. Go swimming and get high at the same time. Do not get high and go swimming. That is a bad idea. It is a bad combination of things. I do not endorse the use of drugs. Medicines, yes. Just, but... There, you've got better things to do with your time than getting high. That's just how I see it. Oh yeah. Counter critical. Die, shrewd man. Ingredients. Right. So I'm not actually that far off a level up. I don't want to go to the next floor yet, because I'm going to die if I go to the next floor. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kill a few more things. Uh, just... Till I can level up. So I can get to level 11, then me... Um, health should go up, my SP should go up. I don't know if there are other hidden stats like attack that go up or anything like that, but... Uh, let's assume there, is, there are. Oh, there's chocolate on the floor there. Where'd that come from? Yeah. Yay! Floor chocolate. Mine. Oh, I can't carry anymore. Okay, that's... Uh... I pressed the wrong sodding button again. Alright, what don't I need out of this? Well, the obvious thing to do would be to throw away the item with the lowest value. Slime fluid. Slime fluid plus... So why is slime fluid plus three still the base price of a hundred? I don't want it. Be gone with me. Uh, I'll keep the chocolate because I can use that. Slime fluid. I'm just... just be gone with me. Now see that? That's a good thing. I want to keep that. Okay, so I've given myself a bit of room. Chocolate. Round the corner to find the next baddie to stab. Well, except this is really more of a slashing weapon than a stabber. General rule of thumb when it comes to uh, 
to weapon use. Now, if it's long and pointy, it's for stabbing. If it's curved, it's for slicing. And you really should let a weapon do the thing it's designed to do. You ain't going to try and slash someone with a spear. That's ain't going to do you any favours. Uh, not to say there aren't weapons designed to be able to do multiple things. Obviously, a sword that's good at slashing is probably going to have some stabbing qualities as well. But uh, you try and slash with a rapier, you're, you're going to have a bad time. You try and stab with a cleaver. Again, similar issue. Uh, that's before we even get into, you know, obvious things that are completely different, like uh, bludgeoning weapons or uh, anything of the like. Where have all the bad guys gone? Come on, you guys were spawning like crazy about ten minutes ago. Ah! There's one right at the far end of the map. Of course there is. Ah, I wish I had a sprint function. But knowing this game, it would be map it to, like... R3, and I'd end up accidentally using it, but I didn't want to, and run straight into a beehive. Hey, Mochi Rabbit. Your death is necessary for my... amusement, I guess. That's, that's basically why I'm doing this. Ah, uh, there aren't any more creatures. Do I keep the grind going, or do I move on up? If I move on up, I've got to eat some stuff to heal anyway. I'm not getting that much from the, uh, from the grinding anymore. <laughs> let's let's kill this thing that spawned over here. Let's see where we're at with the. Yeah, I'm getting next to nothing from this. Sod. Sodomy biscuits, indeed. Okay, so that means what we should do. Press the right sodding button. The, the mapping on this is so weird. Like the inventory is like LB, and in my head it should be any of the other buttons I've got to work with. It's such a random place to put it. Um, okay, there's water. Sh let's just look at the. Uh, let's go down. Look at the. Right, and I need to eat that. I need to get me some SP back. SP has been recovered. Good. Now that's that's only 170. That's, I can't eat it there. Okay. I can't use those find items. That's not a surprise. I'm gonna need that. And next, can I eat a furball? Nope. Um, I can't eat mushrooms. No. Oh, that's chestnut. I can eat a chestnut. I can't eat a chestnut. Okay. So I have no means to recover my HP. We've got some SP, let's hope that's enough. Um, but I will switch to the s uh, the other magic attack. Ground slime. Be there. Oh, that's right, it gets smaller and that's when it actually takes damage. Oh wow, that does just next to nothing. Ow! Stop being a bugger. Let's eat some chocolate. The uh, the magic attack didn't do as much damage as I had hoped it would. But I think the bigger the slime king is, the less damage it takes. So I'm hoping... Now that it's a wee lad, that did more damage. Ow. Stop it. Ow. It's so hard to bloody dodge. That's... Oh, Jesus Christ. Because I'm trying to stop it from touching the smaller slime because that makes it bigger and the bigger the slime is the less damage it takes but you got to get in close and it the hitbox is slightly different than you think it is you, you th I thought I was out of range both the time last two times I got hit but the hitbox was slightly larger than it looks like it should have been so now I've got to pick a 
thing to take with me, which means obviously I take whatever has the highest value. So for 800, it's going to be the crafter's knife. Oh, that's iron armor for 1900. Crafter's knife for 1400. Oh, that's, yeah, I'll take the iron armor then. That's the thing about these um, um, expeditions. They take quite a while, you work your way through it, and if you don't win, you lose basically everything. If you win, you've got items for days, and you need those items to sell. So, uh, I may have to reload the save. I don't want to save Scummit, but that's basically a day wasted in which I've got one thing to sell and basically nothing else from it. That's very irritating. Because this this game, because the, the bar keeps raising in terms of the amount of money you need to get, and bo both the last times I've only just hit that at uh, a deadline. I have to make a decision on that one. Well, there's no decision that isn't worth putting off for a bit. Hello, random man. What do you want? Out for an evening stroll. Bit late, isn't it? It is a bit late, I guess. What are you up? What are you up to, sir? Stargazer. That's very good. Jesus Christ! Look at the size of that moon. I've only just looked at it because he mentioned stars. That is a big old moon. This this world must have tides like hell after that. Tia, you cannot be new to the concept of looking at stars. E even in fantasy m medieval France, astronomers have to be a thing that exists. Even if they're astrologers rather than astronomers, they're all, you have to know there are people who look at the sky for a living. You come out to watch the heavens. That's really romantic. You embarrass me. Stargazing is pleasant enough, but do you mind the cold? Not very romantic if you come down with the flu. That's not how the flu works. That's about it. It's medieval fantasy France, so maybe they don't really know how viruses and bacteria work. But being cold doesn't make you susceptible to getting illnesses. That's just viruses. Vi and bacteria and sadness. That last one sounds like a joke, but actually your mental state can affect your susceptibility to, uh, to illnesses. So, well... Well, uh, I guess we will... That's, uh... Yeah, that was, of course, it was a bad day. You took me to the chapel for no sodding reason. You took me to the market square for no sodding reason. I go to the places because they're flashed, I assume I've got a purpose at going there. There isn't. There's literally no reason to do it. I don't know why it keeps tr trying to make me waste my time going to these places. Yeah. That was... That was a complete wash.